Copy that. That's good to hear. Uh, we've got the camera set up, so we're ready for you to demonstrate the arms. Copy that. Ready when you are. Did he increase uh, gas flow? Doesn't gas look like it. At 80. SCFH. How much? 180 SCFH. Okay. Repeat that last transition. See ya. Do you need assistance with your helmet hold down cable? Negative. Two Yes, I copy that. Go ahead and move those babies. His heart rate's at uh, 101. It's because he's moving. Okay. This is remarkable. You can use your arms. I mean, I couldn't use my arms in the fire model. No way. This I can do things. That looks great from out here. Just to let you know, your heart rate is at 102. And actually increased to 106. And it's just increased to 106, so I might suggest taking some deep breaths. Yeah, I thought that's a good idea. Very physical in here, a lot of work uh, to, to do things. But, uh, and I'm breathing harder now. But that's not a CO2 thing, I don't think. Uh, it's, uh, Physical work. Now it could be CO2 though. Stand by, let me think about it. <laughs> Alright, think of some random questions. Not too hard. We're going to start shooting him some questions to see if he's got some CO2 issues. Ask him what uh, uh, he's a professor of. <laughs> That's so silly. I'm telling you one thing, the gloves are staying on the arm. That's good. Even if I extend my left arm completely and don't do anything to try and keep my hand in the glove, the glove is not shooting off my arm. These cables are working. Are you copying all that? Copied all that. Gloves are staying on your hands. It's a it's a good sign. Hey, we have a question for you. Uh, what do you teach at PSU? Teach a wide variety of classes in uh, human evolution and prehistory. Copy that. Thank you. Can you ask him if he notices any difference between the left and right arms? We were wondering if you noticed any difference between the left and right arms. That's yeah. Stand by, I'm going to evaluate that. Copy that. Increasing to dangerous CO2 levels. So we have you increasing to dangerous CO2 levels. We're going to have you just kind of relax and breathe easy. 
no for a minute, no, no movement at all. Copy that. I just want to pull down my helmet, hold down cable, and then I'm going to do exactly that. Relax for a little bit, bring my heart down, and uh, bring my uh, CO2 numbers down. Copy that. I would suggest another test for them and do repeated tests every once in a while. He is breathing pretty heavy though, so I do want him to just kind of sit there for a that, minute. That could be a big factor, big factor because they... I have to dump some seat pressure to uh, adjust my hold down cable. Stand by. Copy that. Okay, now I want gum. You want some gum gum? Gum 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 gum. For about 15 minutes in, keep note that uh, we might see a CO2 dump or a crash right here because I'm dumping my suit gas so that I can pull down my helmet hold down cable. Then I'm going to close my suit back up, go up to one, and loiter at one until you tell me my heart and everything is good to go. How about that? That sounds good. We're waiting on you. levels are still very high, but um, his heart rate is now... Um, okay, I've got my hold down cable down considerably. It feels really great. Temperature is good. There is a perceptible mugginess like I mentioned. Uh, I'm going to uh, right here just breathe really nice gas, real calm for a second. Let's see what happens. His heart rate has uh, dropped down to 74. Copy that. Your heart rate has dropped down to 74, but we still want to have you sit kind of not moving for a minute. Hot flashes. No, I feel no uh, temperature issues, no temperature distress at all. I'm just trying to regain my breath. Uh, it's a lot of work inside the capsule. A lot of work uh, at that higher pressure, even though it's a lot easier than before. Ask uh, Professor Smith. What, Copy that. Ask Professor Smith uh, what uh, is uh, Han Solo's co-pilot. I actually want him to not talk for a little bit. Uh, how's okay. my heart rate right now, Ian? It's good, 71. If your heart rate is at 71 right now, but I, I want you to stop talking just for a little bit, kind of catch your breath. CO2 levels are still maintaining it high. Your CO2 levels are still fairly high. How's my blood oxygen? How's his blood oxygen? Uh, 98. Your blood oxygen is currently 98, but your CO2 levels are still really high. Like every fifth of the time or next time. So every 15 minutes? 
Yeah. Or then we what, should or, check now. Uh, yeah. But I, I want to see if there's a way to get a CO2. It's at, it's at high. What do you want to do? You want to go ahead and do the readings? I can go ahead and uh, write down this because I get, I'm getting accurate numbers if you want me to ask him and write it down on here? Uh, yeah. I want you to ask him because he needs to check. It's also a good way to test how he's doing. Alright, Cameron. Uh, go ahead and give me your first CO2 reading. Uh, say again? Give me what? Your first CO2 reading. Calm check, calm check. Can you hear me? I can hear you, but it's very loud, but I can hear you, but I'm not copying what it is you want me to give you. Give me your first CO2 reading. Stand by. Right now, CO2 meter reads high. I'm waiting for it to cycle to the new mode. Stand by. Okay, I'm waiting for it to cycle to the new mode. Copy that. I think he's suffering from CO2. I think we should go ahead and call it. Hey, Cameron. It's uh, giving me a high, but it is not giving me a number, so I cannot give you that reading. It's off the scale of the CO2 meter. Yeah, yeah. we're getting numbers. Hey, Cameron, we're going to go ahead. Uh, we want to go ahead and open the helmet. We're concerned about your CO2 readings. So can you go ahead and dial down your BG flow?